OK, let's take this uh, 1958 Land Rover Series 2, 88 inch uh, soft top for a spin. All life and mission light come up properly. Starts nice, it starts well whether it's hot or cold this one actually, very good. It's just had new injectors on it I think earlier this year which is always, uh, always a help. And off we go. As always a bit smoky from cold. As always are. Now we've just taken uh, taken this in from its last owner that's had it for 10 years and used it pretty much every day. So it's actually benefited from that. It's not one that's been sort of you know left lying around or anything. Um, and he sort of you know worked on it as and when and got it uh, all quite nicely up together. I did uh, about 60 miles on it the other night and um, it performed really quite happily. Being an original series too, it is uh, slightly noisy. There's certainly no soundproofing or anything on it at all. But um, engine seems absolutely fine. Starts nice, as I say, and just gets on with it. And for a, a diesel, it seems quite, um, you know, quite lively. The original two-liter diesel engine has been replaced with a later 2.25 diesel, but uh, it's no bad thing really. Um, gearbox is nice. It's nice and precise. There's no jumping out of gear or. Uh, Synchro problems, although it hasn't got synchro on first and second, obviously being a, a proper Series 2 gearbox. But it has also got overdrive on this one. If I put it in overdrive, the overdrive is actually pretty quiet. It's not the sort of nasty howly thing that these sometimes have. Um, it certainly helps it a bit. But it's very, very authentic. No nasty bumps, clunks, or groans or squeaks or expensive stuff. Uh, I won't say there's no rattles because there obviously is. You can probably hear the, uh, the offside door frame rattling a bit. But it's a proper soft top one. Showing 95,000 miles. As I say, I can't say that's correct or not, but it certainly has. Um, so the engine has been replaced at some point with a slightly larger, larger capacity one from a Series 3. So you're never going to break any speed records in one of these, but um, it does just get on with it quite happily. Instruments are working, or what there is. Um, speedo, fuel gauge and ammeter. It's also got the original style hand throttle on it, or a hand throttle, whether it's the original one or not, I don't really know. It's also been converted so it has got a heater of sorts. Three seats in the front, nice deluxe seats, but obviously being a 1958 model, um, seat belts weren't obligatory then. It hasn't got any seat belts in it. Not difficult to fit, but um, as it stands at the minute there are no belts in it. Steering wise, it's actually pretty good. It's got uh, a lot less of a wander than some of them have. It's going in a pretty straight line. However, if you're not used to them, they can be a tad um, feel a bit tad odd to drive these. But this one, in terms of, to my mind, the way a series drives is pretty much on the button. Bumbles along really quite happily. Got its proper three-spoke steering wheel with a sprung sprung centre. As I say, the previous owners looked after it and cared for it and just done the, everything that it needed when it needed it. It seems really, really solid underneath as well. Stops at a fairly straight line. No synchro on second on these. But it is an ultra strong gearbox on the uh, 
in series twos and two ways. Well, she's 54 years old and uh, she's older than me but perhaps in slightly better shape, I'd say. But I really can't fault it to drive it by serious standards. There we have it, I think. My name's Simon, you can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352. Or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info. Enter.